Ah, back for another review. It's been a while. Today I want to sit here and talk to you guys about Tales from the Hood 3. Yes, we have made three of these now. And I have uh, some good news and bad news right out the gate. The bad news is, no, it's not as good as the first one, as you probably would expect. The good news is, way better in Part 2. Way better in Part 2. Whereas Part 2 kind of just kind of seemed like it was trying to replay all the cool stuff from the first one with... You know, the guy saying shit a lot and all that. Uh, this one here kind of makes its own path. And I think that's a very good option for this. This, of course, is released from Universal. It's out already. Not an extra to be found. Not a digital code to be had. This is uh, pretty bare bones. But the movie is solid enough. The wraparound features Tony Todd here. And a very good performance, I might add. The wraparound is actually pretty good. Don't want to spoil it. But he's leading a little girl through this area. And there's like these creatures following him. And... Along the way, he's trying to keep her quiet, and they're trying to hide from these bad things. And she tells stories, which is the segments of the movie. One of them is about a guy trying to get some people out of an apartment because they're trying to tear it down for something. To, to have the land, you know, they're trying to use the land for something, so they're trying to get them out of the apartment. The kid's recovering from cancer, and they don't want to go anywhere, so he hires somebody to burn them out, which has some very bad results. That segment was pretty good. Uh, the second segment, let's see, it's been a couple days since I watched this one. The second segment, oh, I guess the second segment was this white racist guy, which this is the segment probably with the most social commentary that, that kind of pretends how things are these days because he's got like a sign outside his Ford that says all lives matter, or maybe it just says my life matters. It's, it's got a bunch of stuff scrambled out there, but it's an interesting one. It's, it's probably the strangest one. It does have the most social commentary probably for today. But it seems like it's shorter than most of these. And the end result is interesting, but maybe a little far-fetched. But still, solid. The third one, which is the one that I kind of like the least out of all of them, uh, was this R&B singer. And she's going to watch this woman, and the woman's got some very interesting things going on. And it just gets a little bit weird here. It's kind of like, uh, if you've ever seen the movie, I don't want to spoil the segment, but it reminded me a lot of the movie Skeleton Key. This segment did, if you've seen that. So, kind of in the same ball game as that. The last segment, which it always seems like with these movies, there's always one segment that kind of just seems like it's got the most money poured into it. And it seems like it's got like the most bells and whistles to it. And this is the one. Now, there's this guy going around just punching people and taking their money and taking their shoes and all that stuff. And he's punched an old lady. He's punched like this woman. You know, he punches different people and takes money. And then eventually, he comes across this one guy and... He, he does what he does to him, but he gets kind of a, a worse result than what he thought he was going to get. So when he puts his shoes on, he can't take them off. So now he's kind of like having to live, like, you know, the, the kind of like the pain he caused people, sort of. And it gets really trippy with these demons and these angels. And, like, there's this whole big, you know, resolution to it, which was actually pretty solid. So, Tales from the Hood 3. I'm going to give it a 3. A 3 out of 5. It, it, it's decent. It's, like I said, way better than Part 2. Part 2 just seemed a little bit over the top and cartoony for me. So, if, if you're going to watch this one, I don't think you're going to be too disappointed. I like anthologies in general. It's a pretty good one. Uh, nowhere near as good as the first one, but I don't think we're ever going to be as good as the first one. I think one of the main problems is the same directors. You know, it's, it's Rusty uh, Cundiff, Darian Scott. I probably mispronounced that name, but you know who I'm talking about. Same directors. Same executive producer, Spike Lee. Um... Everything should be here to do, like, maybe more of a solid follow-up to the original. But I think, like, the thing that pulls me out of these things is, you know, the original was old school and shot on film. These are shot on digital. So maybe that's why it kind of seems cheap. I don't know. I don't know what the budget or anything is. But for what it is, it's solid. It tells from the hood 3. It's out right now. I think it's at Walmart. Or it was. So go get it and tell me what you think below.